That's a lot of friction. Yeah, it is. Yeah, put it down to cool. We don't want to throw it somewhere where Oh, this Dad threw ashes into a bucket once when we were at his uncle's cabin. Built the bucket? And the carpet. We were asleep at the time. And we got up the next morning and the bucket was melted to the carpet. <coughs> and there was this black hole in this carpet. Shush. It was not good because it was my uncle's uncle. cabin yeah. that we were up in Big Bear. Yep. Big Bear chase you? No, Big, it didn't actually. Big bear cheese. Okay, so on the right hand side, I was right on that line. There's not there's not much grinding needing to be done. Yeah, if the only grinding we'll have to do is like oh, that Yeah. And I left some on the stuff I did too. Yeah. So I apologize. I want these glasses? I want, yeah, I want those glasses. They have better sides. I'm glad this worked for you. And you can adjust the ears if they're Sorry not if I stretched it out. Good enough. It's it's a throwaway sweatshirt. Yeah. So about Let me know when you like the power. Alrighty. It's sweat. It's another bus work day on the Claus Cruiser, and I got two of my sons here helping me out, and my wife, my famous camera person. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to help. We're currently mounting an air conditioner, a better air conditioner, because the other one was not working for this tin can. It gets pretty hot inside. We're pulling out the rest of the wood, and hopefully today we'll get the floor up and we can get this bus moved into position soon. Thanks for watching. There it is, new air conditioner. This one's a lot bigger, so we hope it'll cool the bus off a whole lot better than the old one did. We learned some lessons on cutting the hole for this one, but I think we got it all done and in. We're ready to be nice and cool as we work. Of course, today it's cool enough we've got the windows open. There you go. And now what are we working on? Now we're working on getting the rest of the wood out and taking the floor out of the back so we can get the bus to move. And why does the floor need to come out so the bus will move? Because there's two parts I need to fix that I cannot reach without either jacking the bus up and crawling underneath, which I can't do right now because of where it's sitting, or pulling the floor out. And when you pull the floor out, you'll be able to reach it? Or you I hope, hope so. You, you I hope, hope so. <laughs> and then when we actually get the bus done, we're going to need to be able to have access to that all the time, right? We'll have to rebuild it in such a way that we'll be able to get under the bed at some point if we need to. Okie dokie.